Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for following along on my journey with me. So this week I wanted to do a nine week pregnancy update and just talk a little bit about some of my symptoms and some of the things that I have been dealing with as I entered into my ninth week of pregnancy. So this week I feel like the nausea is kind of under control a little bit, I hope. I haven't felt as sick as I felt previously in the previous weeks. And only time I do feel a little bit of nausea is if I eat something that makes me feel sick. So I'm still trying to figure out and pinpoint like the things that I can eat and the things that I eat that make me feel sick. And it's so weird because it changes from day to day. Like some days the things I eat, I'm fine. And then I try to eat it the next day and I'm like, okay, I can't eat this. So that's the only challenge I'm having this week is what to eat and knowing that I need to eat something, but then not having the appetite to eat it or being scared that it's gonna make me sick. So I still have the exhaustion, so I am still taking my naps every day. I'm still resting, still sleeping like 10 hours every night. Um, so that's really it for that. But I am, you know, of course it's expected to be sleeping a lot in the beginning of the pregnancy. And so I'm fine with that. I just do what I can. And then when I feel like I need to rest, then I rest. And then I usually wake up from my nap feeling a little bit refreshed and able to you know finish whatever it is I needed to finish so uh, other than that I think I had my first craving this week which is so funny because I was at acupuncture and I was laying on the table and all I could think about was a burrito and it's so funny because first of all I don't even eat burritos and second I couldn't even relax because it was like right when I laid down and the session's like 45 minutes. So the whole 45 minutes, I'm just like laying there thinking about a burrito. And I was pretty upset because I didn't even get to like relax. I usually get to take my nap. So I finished my acupuncture session and then went and got my burrito and it was delicious. It's just so weird because normally if I go to a Mexican restaurant, I'm eating like a taco or a quesadilla. I can't even tell you the last time I had a burrito. So it was just really funny to have a taste for something that I don't normally eat and something that was random, just out the blue and in the middle of acupuncture. So that was kind of funny. It was my first craving and I thought it was a little bit too early in the pregnancy to have cravings, but I don't know. So I don't really have a lot of symptoms anymore. It's just the, the main things are trying to figure out what to eat and exhaustion. So I'm still a little bit out of breath, but I feel like I'm getting like my, my wind back. I'm getting a little bit of my endurance back. So that's always a good thing. Also this past week, I celebrated my 34th birthday. I know a lot of you guys told me happy birthday on social media and I appreciate all of your birthday wishes. So. I celebrated my birthday. Tim and I went and we stayed at a resort that was close by to the house because my initial plan was to go to Mexico because we're like a three and a half, four hour drive from where we live. But I was advised not to go to Mexico because of the Zika virus. And then my second choice was to go to LA. It's like a six hour drive to go to the beach. Um, but I wasn't sure how I would feel like I didn't know how I feel being in a car for a long time or once I got to where I was going I wasn't sure if I would feel well enough to like even be able to enjoy anything so I didn't want to plan anything extravagant or go too far away from home so we went to a resort that was less than an hour away it was so beautiful it had beautiful beautiful mountain views a beautiful pool and, and we just I just really enjoyed um, the food we had a really good dinner so I, I wanted to vlog while I was there but I didn't get a whole lot of footage so I didn't you know didn't get to do a video for you guys but it, I did have a lot of fun and I really did enjoy um, that resort I would love to go back there soon I was able to get in the swimming pool I had restrictions all the way since transfer day i was not able to get in any water i was not able to, to vacuum or do any fun stuff wink wink um so my restrictions have been lifted and i was able to get in the swimming pool which i think i will try to continue to do throughout the pregnancy just for some exercise and walking 
is something I'm trying to do. It's so hot here. It's already over 100 degrees here. So I try to walk in the evening and it's still like 90 degrees. But um, so I'm going to try to walk and swim um, the next couple of weeks until I'm out of the first trimester. And then I'm going to actually look into prenatal yoga or um, going to the gym, maybe getting on the elliptical or the treadmill. Because I really, really want to try my best to be fit and to exercise throughout my pregnancy just so I can um, have hopefully a good labor and delivery and a good um, like recovery after birth. Another thing, uh, I did go back to the chiropractor this week, this past week. I had not been to the chiropractor since before transfer and I was a little bit worried about going to the chiropractor early in the pregnancy and so I was advised of course that it is safe and I would probably go to the chiropractor like once a month and of course I still go to acupuncture once a week and I was talking to my acupuncturist about if I should continue past my 12 weeks because I mean it's getting very expensive I've been going for like six or seven months now and uh, I would probably like to go maybe once every other week or maybe once a month because I feel like acupuncture has kind of served its purpose which was to help me get pregnant and help me through my IVF and help me through um, my stems and so I feel like acupuncture has kind of served its purpose so I don't want to like, keep going and keep spending money you know so I have to figure that part out uh, but overall, I am just really excited. I'm at the nine week mark. I just have a few more weeks in the first trimester. I have about three weeks, less than three weeks before I am done with all of my pills and all of my shots. So I'm really excited about that. So the last thing I wanted to do really quick is to clarify my video from last week. I showed you guys some of the foods that I eat as a pescatarian and I talked a little bit about not wanting my channel to become like a pregnancy journey and I got a lot of messages from you guys like well I like the pregnancy updates don't stop the pregnancy updates and I wasn't trying to say that I wasn't going to do pregnancy updates anymore I was just saying I wanted to be mindful of the ladies who were still in the wait and may not always want to see pregnancy updates and hear about pregnancy so that's all i was saying i will definitely continue to do the updates even if it's not every week it will be probably every other week i will still do the updates for you guys but i wanted to incorporate some different types of videos as well and um in those cases i might try to upload like twice a week so i'll try to keep sundays as like the pregnancy or the journey baby updates or whatever and then if i have like other videos like a vlog or like day in the life or what I eat or something like that I'll try to upload, upload that on a different day so that Sunday will re continue to remain to be like a pregnancy journey update so of course I took another belly picture to show my little bloat because it's pretty much just bloat right now I think I don't know uh, but it's definitely getting bigger a little bit bigger and it's a lot more noticeable when I wear certain shirts or certain dresses and it's, it's just really exciting to begin to see the progression. And so I'm just excited to share all of this with you guys. And I appreciate you all following along on my journey. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of the updates that I'll be posting. And I just, um, I'm just super excited about this whole journey and where the journey has taken me and who has brought me to this point I really have been feeling like I want to do a encouragement video for a lot of I know a lot of you girls that watch my videos are still waiting still waiting for your miracle baby and you're either doing treatments or in between treatments or waiting you're in your two week wait or trying to figure things out and so i've really been kind of wanting to do an encouragement like a ttc encouragement video which i think i will do really soon just to encourage you guys and just to reiterate my story and how we waited for 10 years and how we've had so many failures and how we've had so many delays and we had to spend probably close to fifty thousand dollars just to get to this point and just to kind of just encourage you guys, you know, that feel like you want to quit and you can't see 
the light at the end of the tunnel. So I really think I will do that really soon. Just kind of a sit down encouragement um, video to all of my ladies that are still in the wait. But um, for all of you guys that are in between your treatments or if you're in the middle of a treatment or you're in your two week wait or you're just still believing for a miracle, I just wanna let you guys know that I am thinking of you always and praying for you ladies. I get a lot of emails, a lot of messages of girls just telling me how they wanna give up and how they wanna quit and how they're so discouraged. And I just try to encourage everyone in the wait. So um, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm always thinking of you and praying for you. And if you need just a little bit more encouragement, um, you guys know all of my social media handles are always down below. My email is down below. I respond to every email. I try to respond to every message, every DM. I really try. It was a lot easier when I had like 50 subscribers and I'm so grateful that my channel is growing and I'm almost at like 1500 I think. So it is such a blessing to be able to use something that is so difficult and so personal and be able to use that to encourage other people and to connect with other people. So I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Grateful for the ones who have been here from the beginning when I had like seven subscribers. And I'm thankful for all of my new subscribers who have just joined my journey. I want to always, always let you guys know how grateful I am for you guys. So I think that's the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna put my little belly picture at the end of the video and all of my social media handles if you guys wanna chat with me or thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart i hope you guys have an amazing week and i will be back next time with another update bye